You see here? Yeah, I'll we'll start with you. It's okay. This is the ascending. This is the arch. And here, this is the beginning of the descending. Here is the abdominal aorta. And if you look to the ascending, we know that the ascending, it gives the right coronary and left coronary. And we mentioned that, how the right coronary, it descends in the coronary sulcus. And it gives some branches, like the nodal branch, like the infundibular branch, and like the marginal branch. And it will continue in the posterior enter ventricular sulcus in the form of posterior enter ventricular branch, or PDA. Posterior descending arch. And the left coronary, we said left main, that divide into right, into anterior descending, or LAD, and circumflex. And we said that from the arch, we have three. The first one is brachiocephalic trunk, and you see that we don't see it very well because of this vein. You see this vein? Mm -hmm. This vein, we will study this vein next time. It is the left brachiocephalic vein, but the brachiocephalic trunk is behind this vein. You see here how the brachiocephalic trunk is divided into this, right common carotid, and this one, right subclavian. Mm -hmm. But the left common carotid comes directly from the arch. You see that? Left subclavian directly from the arch. And the first branch of the subclavian, which is this one here, this one there, first branch, we call it the vertebral artery. And then the subclavian will go down. In this area, we call it axillary. Here, brachial. You see the brachial, brachial. Then in the anticuritan fossa, it divides into radial ulnar. So if I put if I put here on sticker here, radial, here ulnar, here brachial, here subclavian, here vertebral, here brachiocephalic, right common carotid, left common carotid, left subclavian. You see the common carotid? It divided into external going to the face and the scalp, and the internal one, it goes to the brain. External going to the face and the scalp, and the internal going to the brain. If you see here the abdominal, this is the first unpaired, you see this? This is the celiac trunk. I told you that it is very short like that. And immediately after originating from the abdominal aorta, it gives rise to the left gastric, which is this one. Splenic, this one, going to the spleen. This is the spleen here. And common hepatic, that goes to the liver. This is the liver. And this is the left kidney, right kidney. This is right renal. This is left renal. You see this? This is the gonadal. It's going either to the ovary or the to the testis. At the level of L4, at the order divide into right common iliac, left common iliac. So if I point here, common iliac, common iliac. At the level of sacroiliac joint, the common iliac divide into internal iliac. You see here the internal iliac? Mm -hmm. Here the internal iliac. And the bigger one, the external iliac. So it can descend down until it cross the inguinal ligament. Its name will change to femoral. Behind the knee in the popliteal fossa, it is popliteal artery. Then it divides into two. You see this? This is the posterior tibia. You see it goes down, 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 down. Behind the medial malleolus, it will go to the plantar aspect of the foot here. Anterior, it goes down here, anterior, anterior, and on the dorsum of the foot. Now here, its name is dorsalis pedis artery, or dorsal artery of the foot. Again, like radial and ulnar, the posterior tibial, it forms the plantar arch. Like palmar arch, here we have plantar arch. This is what you need to know. Any question? No question. Very good. So easy. <laughs> you have a test?